Please hang up and try again. Hey, what's up everyone? Louis Tran here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the eVatar USB-C dock that I use for my MacBook desktop setup. No idea how they came up with that name. I've gone through several USB-C hubs and have been living the dongle life since 2016 and haven't really been happy with any one of them, going from the official USB-C display adapter, from Apple to Anchor, Aki, and several different brands. I have a 3440 by 1440 100 hertz 35 inch gaming display and none of these have really been able to fully utilize high refresh rates using HDMI so of course the recommendation is to use a USB-C to display port adapter such as this one. The problem with this is the limited number of USB Thunderbolt ports on some MacBooks so you will have no ports left over after connecting a display and a power adapter to charge. So the solution to that is to get a, U to get a hub with a display port and power delivery port so you will be able to drive a display and charge the MacBook at the same time. The problem with these in my experience is that they've been pretty flaky and believe me I've gone through a lot of these and there's some weird issue with flickering, audio stops working, the Mac refused to wake. It, it can never be perfect. Now this is a personal thing and it's just how I have my setup. Uh, which is a vertical stand to the side of my PC. The dongle setup just looks really janky and it's a pain when I want to connect a USB device. Sure, if I had the Mac on my desk, then it would be a different story, but I really don't want my laptop set up that way. Now comes the eVatar USB-C Hub. I picked this up uh, a month ago just because you know it popped on my popped up on my Amazon feed, so of course I fell for the trap and ordered one after reading that it had some decent reviews. I know there are variations of this hub that look exactly the same, but with a different name. So, but this is the version that uh, that I've purchased and have tested. Uh, out of the box, you get a you get the hub and the dual USB-C cables and nothing else you need to use your existing power adapter, which isn't a deal breaker for me, but could be an annoyance for anybody needing to fork out some extra money for a power brick and cable. Also, keep in mind that this hub needs two USB-C ports on your MacBook, and the cable looks like it's specifically for the MacBook Air and the Pro, so if you have another brand laptop, you need to look elsewhere. I was pretty surprised at how small this is. The Amazon listing sort of exaggerates its size, so it's a good thing that it takes up a small footprint on your desk. And that's the beauty of getting a hub like this. The three foot cord gives you some flexibility on where to place this instead of needing your laptop a few inches away. So I can have my laptop where it's at right now and have access to plug in my USB devices. The hub features one 3.5 audio jack and microphone jack two USB 3.0 and one USB-C port in the front. On the back, there are two HDMI ports and it's a plus if you want to connect multiple external displays. There's also a USB-C power delivery port charging up to 85 watts, the dual USB-C port that connects to the MacBook, a one gig ethernet port, a VGA port, two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 ports. That should pretty much cover almost everything you need, unless you absolutely need to have a Thunderbolt connection, which would be a problem if you're using this dock. Aside from the convenience of having this on my desk, another huge plus with this dock is that it can drive my 35 inch 3440 by 1440 display at 100 Hertz through the HDMI connection, which I wasn't able to with my other hubs from Apple, Aki, and Anchor. And so far it has worked perfectly without any issues. I appreciate running the higher refresh rate on my desk and just like how it's run on my gaming PC and laptop. So would I say this is a perfect USB-C hub for the MacBook Air or Pro? I would say it's pretty close to it. You know, other another USB-C connection on the front, uh, it would have been 
and you know it would have been nice to have the power brick included for this but other than that it's it's been pretty great especially for my setup now let me know what you guys think or if you have any other suggestions on hubs that i should check out thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video